Happy Feast of the Sacred Heart, everyone, and happy day when uh, the human sacrifice of the unborn is outlawed. Now, this also, besides being the Feast of the Sacred Heart, it would otherwise, the date, uh, what is today? Is it the 24th? Let me see, Friday, June 24th. So it is June 24th is normally the feast of the Nativity of uh, St. John the Baptist. Now that uh, on the FSSP calendar has been pushed back to the Saturday. So we celebrate the Sacred Heart today and it is divine providence that um, abortion has been restricted. I said the... I, I, I said a keyword that uh, may get censored. But anyway, uh, it has been restricted, the sacrifice of the unborn. And um, we need to continue to fight. Now, this is a day for obviously rejoicing, of course. Um, did the Fatima consecration have anything to do with it? The consecration of Russia? I don't know. People are saying, oh, it didn't do anything. Well, but who knows? Now, pay close attention to how people react. I've seen a lot of priests that say, well, you know, you should, before you celebrate, you need to make sure that, uh, you know, these, these mothers have uh, adequate resources and all this stuff. And it's like, Catholics already do that. Like, that's already in place. So, okay, what's the next thing? Oh, well, you know, we need to make sure the government, we got to vote for politicians who will, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you know that a lot of people that have very little income receive significant government benefits, right? Like, we already have that in place. So stop trying to justify voting for Democrats. Okay, pay close attention also to the people who don't even support it or have been very silent on um, social media, because the otherwise loud, in-your-face, heretical modernists who pretend to be Catholic, some of them have outright said, oh, I'm not celebrating today. There you go. Heretic. But um, I think that, you know, even the ones that are saying, well, I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant, okay, then they probably don't support the Catholic faith. <clears throat> now, uh, the last thing is, and this isn't going to be very long. Um, the last thing is that we need to defend our churches. Okay? Plain and simple. How are you going to do that? I don't know. I don't live in your community. And maybe you don't even live close to your church, so maybe you're not going to do anything. I don't know. But uh, make sure that you do your best. All right. And also, now that the, the slaughter, now that the human sacrifice has been restricted. I don't want to say banned because it hasn't. It hasn't been banned. Uh, a lot of states, a lot of um, demonically possessed politicians are fighting for the right to slaughter the unborn, to, to uh, fighting for human sacrifice. And, um, you know, the, the demonically possessed are very active right now. And it's going to be a, a pretty crazy night. Um, I, I expect, I expect them to the, the demons to go wild tonight, and maybe even... All right, I think I'm back. Sorry about that. I lost you for a second. Um, so, I guess, uh, finally, now that, now that we've won a partial victory against human sacrifice now, we're going for... Uh, now, now we're going to go after um, fake, fake marriage. LMNOP marriage. Yep. That's what we're going after next. And dare we hope. The sin that cries out to heaven for vengeance, one of the sins that cries out to heaven for vengeance, should not be um, celebrated. And so we're coming after that next. So thank you so much for watching. We are the laity, and we will not be silent.